I'm gonna to try to make this quick. So have you ever wondered if your kids would do better if you gave them a paper version of a test rather than a digital version of a test? Well, the reading program we switched to three years ago, um, same exact program we had been using, but now there were certain aspects of it that were online only and no longer available in paper. And so that was the teacher textbook and the student test. Well, I noticed that the scores had not been as great as they had previously been, but there was no way to access a paper version of the test. And since some of the materials were no longer, the reading materials were no longer the same, it's not like I could use my old tests to test my students. I was just kind of dealing with it. It wasn't like it was that dramatic of a difference. So I just went with it. This year, it was a huge difference. My kids were really, really struggling and I was at a loss. So I finally went to my administration, told them, I told them what I've been doing, how I've been trying to fix the problem and she she was like let me get back to you and she found a way to print a copy of the test so i printed a copy of the third test we were three tests in so far i had retest on the second on the second time when we retested ipad to ipad there was not a dramatic improvement even though i had gone over like all kinds of stuff um that was going to be on the test and um that they just didn't do very well we did the same remedial lesson and this time we did the test three for a second time, but we went from doing it on the iPad the first time to doing it on paper the second time. And the scores were dramatically better. Went from seven of the kids not meeting mastery to only two of them not meeting mastery. So out of 24 kids, that's a huge jump to go from seven not meeting mastery to two not meeting mastery. And of the two that didn't meet mastery, both scores went up dramatically. Um, one went up so far that he was only one question away from meeting mastery. Had he answered one more thing right, he would have had mastery. The other one was a little bit further away, but again, it was a dramatic improvement for the first time he took it to the second time he took it. So I get that we're in an era where technology is used a lot and these kids need to be used to technology because when they get into the real world, they're going to be using it a lot. But they're also gonna still use paper pencil and there are certain tasks that you do better when you have a piece of paper and a pencil. And maybe we should be teaching kids that lesson as well and let them know that it's okay to get out a piece of paper and a pencil and do something sometimes by hand instead of doing it on a piece of technology. And I really think that there's value in that as well. Um, I really hope that this will start catching on and people will start noticing it because I think that standardized tests should be on uh, paper. I think that kids need to have a paper book version of whatever they are learning. And I feel like they also do, do better if all of their assessments are on paper. Um, you know, and, and trust me, I, I am not happy about the fact that I'm gonna be giving up the fact that it grades for me, but if it means my kids are gonna do better and I get a better assessment of what they're really capable of, then I'm gonna do it. It's okay, I, I can give up five to five to 15 minutes that I used to get if it means that I actually get a better picture of what they're capable of. So, you know, if you can do it, if you can get a paper version, I highly recommend it. See how much better your kids do.